guys, get get out of here! Did you see that? There's a freaking there's a killer whale right there hunting you. You should get out of here. Oh my gosh, that was awesome and terrifying. There's a couple of them. Wow, I feel like I nearly died and just didn't <laughs> didn't realize. Uh 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 orca. Large dolphin-like cetacean found in the cold oceans of the overworld. It can be seen bobbing up and... Whoa! <laughs> Perfect timing. These whales are not so friendly. Hurting one of them can make the entire pod attack you. Swimming with a pod of orcas can grant the orcas might effect. Increase attack and speed. Oh! Seals, I feel like you want to get out of here. Wow, that was cool though. I mean, it... horrifying, but, you know, circle of life. Careful! You silly bean. Now look at you, you're all in this shallow water. Do you want some bread? You just want any bread. That's so cool. So swimming with a pod of them can be beneficial? That's so cool. Ooh, a soggy garden. Ah, oh, some berries. That was a, I feel like I'm going to stop complaining about being out in the tundra because I just witnessed one of nature's miracles. That was amazing. <laughs> Is this a, a building? Like a little igloo? Can I get into here? It looks like a little building. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe on me now. I'm slowly working my way through all my wood, making crafting bench after crafting bench like a big Egypt. Together a little pickaxe. There we go. I don't even know if that's the right material for a. Yeah, wow. There's a little igloo. Oh, there was an opening. There was an opening on the other side. Doesn't seem like anybody lives here right now, though. I should probably delete my death. Maybe later. I can use it as a um. Oh, I should be using a an axe, shouldn't I? I can use it as a marker for now. For um, where that nice village is that I, I came across. Okay, so good to know that um, you know I can survive out here in a little igloo if I need to. Nether rack, an obsidian, stone brick slabs. What is this? Have I found something? Block of gold. I can hear lava. Is this going to be some sort of Tomb Raider situation? Am I going to find something awesome? Or am I just going to die? Well, there's the lava. Oh, no, not that one. You silly goose. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh-oh, it's time to get late. Well, this is cool. A little pool of lava out in the snowy tundra. Pretty awesome. But not that helpful. Hey, fly. If you could chase off any zombies that approach, that would be fantastic. Oh, it's starting to go green. <gasps> We're starting to see some green. Oh my gosh, I've got to get inside somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die just as I finally find myself a, a nicer climate. Oh, this looks like a place. This looks like it could be a little place. It's got books. What is this? Well, this is freaking adorable. Should I just... Can I sleep here without just... Should I just die if I'm just sort of exposed to the... Oh! <laughs> I sleep with my head in this little uh, miniature. This is so cute! Oh! Oh. Yes, please. Thank you. And then... I still need a... Um... Look at these tiny mini trees! I still need a feather to make my to-do list. That is cute as heck. I don't understand what it is, why it's out here. It's some kind of ancient monument. No idea. It's very oceany here. I mean, this is cute, but I don't know how helpful it is so far. Oh, olive fruit. Oh, a crow. I mean, a raven. Gosh, what a terrible mistake. They would never forgive me for that. Hi. Do you want some bread? No. I think they like seeds. Hi! 
I can see some tall looking trees over there. That might make a, a nice area to head for. I really don't know. I mean, this is nice and flat. This is a lovely flat zone. Hi, and there's ravens, which I consider a good sign. Hello. There's a shoe bill. Oh, hi. They're actually surprisingly timid and will take wing when attacked. They're often seen shaking their large, strange beaks. Oh, stop calling them strange. Shoe bills can be fed crocodile eggs to increase the lure effect on their catches and fed blobfish to increase the luck of their catches. Shoebills are so naturally timid that they cannot be bred by people. Aside from fish, shoebills will also attack baby crocodiles and turtles. Cool. Hi, Shoebill. You're amazing. Wow. I have seen so much cool wildlife. Oh yeah, look at those beautiful trees. And ravens. We love the ravens. Look at that little raven next to the huge shoebill. Wow. I can't believe we saw that orca fucking swarm a group of snoozy, uh, a group of snoozy seals. Okay, these aren't, these don't, these don't give me anything. Hi, Shoebill. Gosh, I should have made a boat just to make my life a little bit easier crossing these uh, waters. So I am after the peaceful, more remote life, but it would be nice to have maybe a village nearby. Because, I mean, the thing is, I'm going to need some customers. The whole operation falls apart a little bit if I don't have any customers. What's that? What's this? Oh, another, or another orca. Is it going for those salmon? Look at these beautiful flowers. Hi, Raven. Yeah, it would be nice to have a village or something nearby. Otherwise, I'm going to have to... Um, is that a beehive over there? Cool. Oh, yeah, there's some bees. Oh, I love bees. As long as they are bees and not... Friggin' wasps or something. Hornets. Hornets are the worst. Hi! You're so cute, aren't you? Ow! Oh, was it the rosebush that was hurting me? I think the rosebush was stabbing me. My bad. Okay, there's a little cave. Lots of good... <gasps> a bear! A burr! I should check that they're not gonna... Is it a grizzly bear? Any unprepared traveller or hunter should keep their distance from grizzly bears. Although they are neutral at a distance, they become hostile when approached. Okay, so the fact that there are bears in the area might... Um, might impact things here slightly. I do think it's a lovely area. I need to find some... Uh, some freaking pumpkins so that I can make friends with these ravens. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bear, I'm not encroaching on your territory, I'm just passing through. Chestnut? The other thing, of course, is that I need to be vaguely near a source of uh, coffee. Because, I mean, the whole operation really falls apart. I mean, I guess I can travel to get coffee. Are these peaches? Yeah! Mm. Well, there's a lot of lovely food resources out here. Oh, avocado! Mmm! Oh, I could just have a bit of avocado on toast. This seems like a really nice area. I think this is going to be... This is going to be it. This is where we're going to set up shop. Um, but I might have to do a bit of... There's another bear. A bit of travelling and be a bit careful of the local wildlife. But I mean, that's the risk when you set up in a new place, right? I guess the first thing I need... Hi. Oh, look at this lovely flower meadow. This is cute. Let's set up... Let's set up base here. Why is it over here on fire? Oh, it's a little pool of lava. Well, that can be useful. Oh, seals! More seals! Oh, that explains the, uh, the orca diving. Wow, what an amazing environment. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're gonna set up shop in this little flower meadow. Okay, so first thing I need is a little... Well, first thing I need to do is mark my map, actually. That's very important, so that I don't just... Um... New home! I love it. So I don't forget where I live now. Oh, I've made it for just over there for some reason. How'd I do that? <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. Um, yeah, the first thing I need is... Uh, well, the first thing I need before I do absolutely anything is I need a freaking axe so I can get some more wood. 
Um, and then I need to build myself a little base that I can sleep in so that I don't uh, die. <laughs> if I die immediately, then it's all been a waste. What is that? Sour salt. Oops, not you. Oh, I can use that to make a fruit salad. Or trail mix. Mmm, trail mix. Ooh, smoothie. Okay, well this could be a, um, this could definitely be a cafe resource for the future. Good to know. Have I got enough to make some sort of horrible shack, do we think? Ah, there we go. We're getting the fruit. We're getting the saplings. The oak sapling, that one. I'm assuming the bees being around here means that we can get some honey, because honey is fantastic for adding to, to tea and coffee and things. That would be really great. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm a little bit coldy all of a sudden. Being in that cold tundra has started to affect me. Let's just put together something rubbish just to live in for now. Oops. Oh no, it's already getting dark. Quick. <laughs> Quick. My gosh, the days absolutely fly by. Put the door down. Kind of want it to be the other way around, but it doesn't matter. This is an emergency shelter situation right now. To make it look nicer another time. I don't even know. I want to make it look nicer if I want to just destroy it when I start the the cafe going. I can live in the cafe. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, maybe the orcas will protect me. Um, and let's make some slabs for the roof. Ugh, so ugly. Oops. Crumbs. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's just so we can sleep safely. Ugh, oh, crumbs! Gosh. Oh, when I arrive home to my family, it's going to be really embarrassing telling them how I... how I started. I tell them about freaking seeing an orca hunting some seals, though. That was amazing. Okay, there's one hole in the ceiling, but... In the grand scheme of things, <laughs> what's one one little ceiling hole? One thing I definitely want. Morning world is a door out the other side. Let's just do this. I need to get myself, you know, safe and sorted first. I need to... Uh, have a proper actually this door's gonna annoy me if I don't put it on properly. I'm gonna fix that. I need a, a source of food. I need like a mining spot. I need to find a uh some chickens or something I can get feathers from so that uh Oh sheep! Oh a classic friend. Hi Mwah. You look so cute. Um Oh, cows! Hi, I haven't forgotten about you, Raven. Don't think I've forgotten about you. Hi! Hello! Okay, well, great. Fantastic. Good to know you guys are here. Oh, and just a little bit further out, there's some different kinds of trees, which would be nice for decorating. Is that a pig? No, it's a different kind of cow. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. It's just your beautiful colouring. My mistake. Um, these are cool. Are they trees or are they like big mushrooms? I need some- I need something with feathers. I need to find a feathered creature that I can borrow a feather from. These are mushrooms! Can I... do I... Okay, they don't actually produce any things, so I've just sort of destroyed a bit of one for no reason. Sorry. Very sorry, mushroom. Um, what's this? Pine nut fruit. I don't want to stray too far afield too early, you know? I don't know what dangers are out there. I'm not very tooled up. Oh, there's a swamp over there. 
That's useful. We're not far from another biome. Some more orcas. We want to be a little bit careful. Last we want is to accidentally punch an orca and have a huge fucking problem on our hands. It's good that there's salmon here as well. There's another type of tree. Birch. Lovely. Birch makes a nice uh, different colouring to mix up. Because my cafe is... I mean, priority number one is making sure that I can make the food and drink, obviously, but it is also nice to have a pretty environment, you know? I wonder if I hit a mushroom with a... No. 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 Has that birch tree dropped any... Saplings? Have I just lost it? My navigational skills are incredibly bad. That's why I came prepared with a big map. Ooh, dark oak. Oh, hi! You really want to be friends, don't you? Ooh, shaded garden. Spice leaf and jute. Okay. I'm kind of in a scouting phase. I want to know what animals are near me, what biomes are nearby. Mark up on my map where I can find useful stuff, you know? What would be ideal, obviously, is if I find any particularly useful plants, trees, if I can plant those back, you know, nearer to where I am. Uh, what did we get there? Tomato and rhubarb. Ooh. I'm getting so ahead of myself. I need to make sure I can survive first. Let's not forget that that is priority number one. I'm going to go and check out the swamp, though. Oh, it's the sound of horrible horror. Oh, lemon! Lemon is absolutely necessary. For a little tea shop, a little cafe. You gotta have lemon. Is that another soggy garden? Is that some blueberries, maybe? Is that a dolphin? <gasps> Hi! Oh my gosh, dolphin! Hello? Shish now, zombie. You're ruining my experience with this dolphin. Wow. This is definitely the spot for me. Uh, what have we got here? Jackfruit. And some jungle log. Jungle log's different again. We'll collect some of that. For sampling. It's all for sampling. That's what we're doing. It's like getting loads of... Uh, wallpaper samples or something, you know? Hi! Is it the same raven following me around trying to become friends? Oh, I've got a full inventory. Let me drop this spruce sapling. Oh, asparagus. I love asparagus. I guess I should go back and put some stuff down, because otherwise if I find anything else cool, I'm not going to be able to carry it with me. Cool. Okay, so let's just mark up this swamp, and it should be like a swampy green. So that we can find our way back here. Definitely, definitely need to build a boat, because if I could just sail back across there... In fact, I could probably do that now. I'd have to build another crafting table, though. <laughs> Oh. Oh well, whatever. Let's drop that for a second. It's down. Uh, how in the heck do I make a boat? I've never built a boat before, is that? Okay, good. It's, it seems very easy. Um, I need, I need more... I've not got any consistent wood. Okay, uh, let's just use jungle logs for now then. Ooh, that is fun. That is fun looking. Uh, alright, let's get rid of these tulips because we've got loads of tulips around here. Oh, yeah, this feels great. This is what I wanted. Whoops. Whoa. Okay. I've never been sailing before either. This is a whole host of new experiences for me. I'm loving my life right now. This is this kind of slow pace, just fresh start that I really wanted. Let's build some chests, get some storage going, and then plan from there.